Uh, Honourable Marianne Street. Mr Chair. Mr Chair, the paper, the bill that came out of the Select Committee has it Clause 1 titled This Act is the Injury Prevention, Rehabilitation and Compensation Amendment Act 2009. At the initial stages, in tabling the, uh, the bill for the first time, the Government clearly didn't think it was an issue to keep the name as it had been. At Select Committee, second reading, the Government clearly didn't think it was an issue to keep the name the same. Come the committee stages, the Minister in charge puts up a, an SOP to change it to the Accident Compensation Act and then proceeds to perform like a seal about how important it is that this bill is now called the Accident Compensation Act and makes a song and dance about the fact that people on the street won't know what the IPRC Act is, the Injury Prevention, Rehabilitation and Compensation Act, which he enunciated in the most exaggerated terms he could possibly manage. And so now it is imperative that it is called the Accident Compensation Act. My question to the Associate Minister sitting in the chair at the moment is why did this suddenly become important? Why did this become important? Because what that leaves the opposition thinking, Minister, is that there is an agenda. If I can quote somebody rather more famous than myself, what's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Can I say that there is as much difference between the names Labour and National as there is between the names Montague and Capulet, which is what Shakespeare was talking about. There is as much difference between National and Labour over the title of this bill as there is between the names Montague and Capulet. This, Mr Chairman, simply raises questions about the agenda. And there are two questions that I would like to ask. There are two questions that I would like to ask apropos of this name change. What are we to read into this? If it is to be called accident compensation, are we now to understand that there is to be no injury prevention or rehabilitation or compensation? Or are we to understand that anything that is an accident will be covered by this legislation? In which case, has the Minister considered, and does this not have an impact on fiscal aggregates, of the term cerebrovascular accident, commonly known as a stroke? Does this change in name indicate that the Government is looking to include strokes, otherwise known as cerebrovascular accidents, in the coverage of the compensation? If so, then let them say so and let them prove that there is not a fiscal aggregate impact from that. Secondly, my question is, if only accidents are to be covered by this legislation and not injuries, where does that leave sexual abuse victims who sustain injuries but never by accident? Sexual abuse does not occur by accident. Sexual abuse is perpetrated upon victims. It creates injuries. At the very least, it creates mental injuries. Are we to assume by this change of name that there is some agenda to move stealthily and without, without any uh, recourse to the public to take sexual abuse treatment out of accident compensation? Because that is the impact already of moves that this government has made in changing processes around the treatment of sexual abuse victims. Already there are people who cannot get treatment, who risk suicide 
because they are unable to get treatment in a timely way because people are waiting for decisions to be made about whether or not there is an injury, Mr Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair. Michael.